beginning of myself, the title, what inspired that particular title? Because I'm sure you had a range of other titles. Right. Um, funny, I didn't have many more titles <laughs> that I actually wanted to choose mm -hmm. from, really because I think it was, um, I was at that point where I said to me, after I came back from Jamaica, um, and then I started writing and I, you know, I would read my stuff and I thought it was great, but I was like, it's very angry, mm -hmm. right? It's very angry and it, 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 it sounds like I'm bitter and I'm still mad and I'm not. But when I write, I kind of just go back to the place and you kind of just relive it. And whatever you felt in that moment is what comes out. So, you know, until this day, somebody might go on there and read it and, ca and call me up and be like, oh, my God, are you OK? I was like, yes, I'm fine. It's been three years. I'm OK. <laughs> So the reason for the book, you know, being, you know, more the reason I felt I needed to put the book out and not, you know, continue on sort of like a negative streak is to show that you could actually come out of anything you could grow. But it it absolutely takes you stopping and reflecting on yourself, not reflecting on the other person, not reflecting on the situation, because every single thing begins with us. You know what I mean? And even though, yeah, you might be walking down the street and somebody shoves you or something, something as basic as, as that, it really takes your response for it to escalate or not. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so if, if that was to happen to me and I was to punch the person in the, in the face, even though, yeah, I might need to defend myself, and I'm not saying don't defend yourself, mm -hmm. that's not what I'm saying, but <laughs> that my reaction in that moment would determine the outcome. So no matter what, it always begins with the decision that we make. So and that's, that's where the title came about, beginning with myself. You dabble in, 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 in modeling as well. Was that yeah. an outlet for, to, to release some of that anger that you spoke about earlier? Uh, not so much. I just, I've always loved fashion. Mm. I've always, from a very young age, um, my mom too, she's always loved fashion and like getting dolled up mm. and doing makeup and all that stuff. Um, Martin, what I I had all, I never pictured myself as a writer. First of all, mm -hmm. I had always pictured myself as a model, as an actress, as you know, um, and I mean, writing and acting and modeling are both very expressive outlets. But I had I had never seen myself as a writer. It was always I'm gonna be a model. I'm gonna be a superstar. I'm gonna be a supermodel. That that was my thing. I'd always loved it from a very young age, and I started modeling. I want to say when I was. 15, 16, I think 16. And I started hair. Mm -hmm. um, and like anything else that I undertake, there was some drama attached to it. <laughs> so, but I mean, I still, I still love fashion. I still, I still model every once in a while, not runway, which, which is what I really loved. But I still do like print work every once in a while if somebody needs me to. But I'm not like pursuing it hardcore like I did like eight years ago. Any reason why? Uh, I just, um, I was hell bent on doing r runway. Mm. And, you know, it's easy from the outside before you really get involved mm -hmm. in something to, to have your own little preconception in your head that, oh, this is easy, I could do this. And it's not that it's hard, but you realize that there are a lot of um, limitations. So you might see something, it's just like you see a cover of a magazine. And you go, well, I, I want to look like that. But that's an unrealistic thought to have because a magazine is touched mm -hmm. up. You, you know what I mean? All these things that, you know, we see and we're just like, well, I could do this and I want to do that. And you don't realize how much is really involved. So for one, I there are exceptions, obviously, but I wasn't tall enough to do runway. Well, I was tall enough, but I wasn't skinny enough mm -hmm. to do runway. So when, <laughs> when I... Um, I had gotten signed to this agency and then I, I needed to lose like eight to 10 pounds. And I wasn't even the mm -hmm. size I am right mm -hmm. now. I was probably 120 pounds, right? So I was like, all right, I'm all for it. I'm gonna do it. I'm excited to do it. And then it just, uh, and then I said to myself, I'm just like, you're never gonna be 112 pounds like they need you to be because one, that's not your body type. I might be, you know, I may not be big, but the fashion industry, as far as curves are concerned, is for, run for the runway that I wanted to do, for high fashion, mm -hmm. you have to be a hanger. 
So everybody is a size one and below, <laughs> right? Um, Tyra Banks, who is an exception because, you know, she did lingerie modeling. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she, you know, she's taller than I am. And then she was smaller at that time when, when she first started. But she, she's done amazing for herself as far as because of, you know, Victoria's Secrets. So, I mean, I could have gotten that route. I think I had just gotten frustrated at a certain point. I was like, you know what? Let me focus on my schoolwork. <laughs> but off and on, I still, I still, do. I still love it. I still love fashion. I still enjoy like being in front of the camera. You've uh, also gone into um, a clothing line as well. Yeah. So talk to us about that. It's actually my second clothing line. Now second. that I think about it. Okay. I, yeah, I totally. It's funny because I, I, my first clothing line was actually a kids' clothing line, mm -hmm. I, which I totally forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> So when you're doing too many things, you kind of forget. Um, but yeah, um, so this this clothing line is actually my second, and mm -hmm. it's you know mainly directed to adults. Um, it's uh, my slogan is um, fashion for the conscious human. Mm -hmm. So it's you know nice stuff that you would wear on a regular day, but the the message. So one of the shirts says humble. Mm -hmm. Another one says levitate. Um, another one says queen. Another one says king. Um, so I really actually need to work on expanding it a little more. It's like once I did it, I did the two back to back. So I had two projects going on at once. So while I was writing the book, I was also working on the clothing line. And I've kind of gave the book a little more attention <laughs> than the clothing line. But they're both um, because, you know, like I said, I still love fashion. So they both still are very specific to who I am, right? I try not to venture out into things that's not me mm -hmm. because then that's just, that makes no sense. I like to stick to the things that I love. Um, so yeah, so the clothing line is, is needs a little more work. <laughs> but in the meantime, you'll be doing some more writing, I suppose. Yes, so I'm still, I'm still writing. I still, I have some stories that I'm not sure if I actually want to put out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just yet, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I might put it out sometime. I just, I, I feel like the time is not right. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm, I'm hoping for a part two of this book. And then I want to actually work on some production of uh, some like off-Broadway stuff, theater stuff with what's in the blog <clears throat> so i'm i'm just gonna just keep expanding on what i already have because i think it's working <laughs> we appreciate your time tasha and also let's talk a little bit about the where is the book available right now beginning with myself uh so you can find beginning with myself online off of itunes it's available as an ebook mm. on itunes barnes and, and you don't nobles want to it. sorry you don't want to read it Yes. Mm, cool. No, it's no, it's uh, actually you could read it. Oh, okay. So I actually do want to do an ebook, but it may not be for this one. An audio book. A, a, a voice book. I'm, no an audio, audio book. I'm All right, sorry. sorry. I was thinking of audio books. <laughs> right. Mm. So um, it's available as an ebook. Mm -hmm. um, you can get on your Kindle if you have a Kindle. You can get from Barnes and Noble, Amazon, Lulu.com, who I published through. Mm. You could get both a hard copy and an ebook from them. Um, and Kobo.com. Excellent. And then you could get it from me if you know. If you know me. <laughs> Certainly. Oh, we know your brother, so we know how to find you anyway. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank you for giving us the time to be here. Absolutely. And also like to wish you all the best with thank all your you. ventures. And also look forward to your clothing line being here as well at some point in time. Is that is part of the plan? Yes. It's, it's definitely my plan is to be all over the world. Excellent. So same, I always come home first. I try to hit home first and then move from there. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your time. All right. Thank you for having me.